Do not say his name five times or he will wreak havoc. The Candyman was humiliated and murdered while looking into the mirror. Now he will come haunt and kill anyone who dares to say his name. Candyman. 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 baby what is poppin welcome back to the channel guys if you don't know who i am my name is let me hear the drum roll let me hear the drum roll jake dubner that was whack really the drum roll is for you guys because i love each and every single one of you and every single one of you have more value than you know it i love you guys so make sure if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications join the family yo we're the family on this channel we call ourselves the duffies and every single day it is nothing but bangers, but guys, today I have something crazy that I want to go through with. You guys may have heard of this ritual before, but I just learned of it. I was a big horror movie fanatic when I was a kid, and growing up, watching horror movies was always my go-to with my entire family. And there's one that always stood out to me called The Candyman. It is a slasher film. I just found out that there is an actual real-life ritual to this, and it is based off of a true story. So you know me, I'm freaking out over here. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. The 3 a.m. expert doesn't know of a ritual of a notorious film called The Candyman. It's up here on my screen right now. I just wanna run through the origins for you guys really quick, just so you get a better understanding of what The Candyman actually is. It is so scary, it's unbelievable. The Candyman is rumored to have been alive at one time, but was a slave on a plantation. His real name was Daniel Robitaille, and he worked on a plantation in New Orleans. Legend has it, he was a really good painter and a plantation owner needed a portrait done of his daughter. So naturally, he made Daniel paint a portrait of his daughter. But things get a little bit worse here. As with any urban legend surrounding the plantations and slaves, Daniel fell in love with the plantation's owner's daughter. When word came out stating that Daniel had fallen in love with the daughter, a white woman, and that the daughter also fell in love with Daniel, the plantation owner raised an angry mob to chase Daniel out of town. The angry mob full of men had pitchforks and dogs, and they chased Daniel throughout forests and fields and brooks until he became exhausted and was found near an old barn. The men grabbed Daniel, took a rusty saw, and cut off his arms and hands. Once Daniel's arm was cut off, they covered him with honey and threw him into a beehive. According to the original legend, Daniel did not die right away. And before he could die, the plantation owner showed him what he looked like in a mirror and stated that his daughter would never be able to love him anymore. Before he died, he whispered Candyman into a mirror, which was the curse he placed onto everyone around him. The men who killed him ended up dying in mysterious ways short after. Daniel died in excruciating pain, but unbeknownst to the men, before Daniel died, he placed a curse. He cursed the men who killed him, and while anyone who would dare speak his name, he vowed to come back and get revenge on those who killed him. Now, people say his spirit never rests because of the way he died. To whoever speaks his name, he will appear and kill. To do this ritual, it is very, very simple. You pretty much only need a mirror and your own voice. You can play it with as many people as you want, but there is a few steps that you wanna go through, and I'm gonna read them right now. Step one is to sit candy in a bowl or on a plate in a neat fashion as you fire a lunar glance at each other. So you need to have some candy in front of you and whoever is playing, and you're staring directly at it of each other. Step two is to visualize yourself in the deep blue flowing light that would encompass you. The working group, if there is any, which there will be, and the candy as you try to achieve Gnosis. And when you achieve that Gnosis, an invocation is then read. And the invocation is this. 
Trick or treat, Candyman, come Candyman, come and enchant us and our candy with great charismatic powers. Let those who consume this magical candy feel fear. Let this candy open doors for us out of the mundane and into the bizarre. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. So now that we know the origins of the Candyman and know that it does come from an urban legend, we are going to have to perform the ritual. Now that the setting is all set up and we have the bowl of candy and the people around the bowl of candy looking at each other, we are going to simultaneously chant Candyman five times with a mirror next to us. And after that five times, Havoc will reap upon us. Guys, I am super excited. I think the people that are going to be going is just going to be me, Paul, maybe Jeff Swift, maybe Mason, and maybe Ashley. I don't know. We're going to see who wants to actually be involved in this ritual. And we're going to meet you at 3 a.m. Deuces. I got all the material here. I got dum dums. I got smarties. Kind of contradicting each other. I thought that was funny. It's probably not funny, but you know, I'm a nerd. So anyways, <laughs> we just pulled up to a very iconic spot and it is an abandoned supermarket. Apparently the man that used to run this supermarket actually locked all the doors of all the customers and employees in there and massacred the whole place. So that's why it is completely run down and abandoned. You know what? Luckily for us though, we can go straight through it because there's no boards in the window. I'm hoping there's a mirror in there where we can actually do this Candyman challenge. Oh no, but we gon' see. You ready for this, Paulie? I mean... Paulie the bald man, how do you feel? Uh, you know how I feel about this place. <laughs> yeah, it's not a fun place. I've been here once before, it ain't fun. Now and underneath, it's kind of just like a wide open area. I don't know if the camera can see all that. There's not really much under here besides debris. But the best part about this place is if you go up those stairs, that's where the man who massacred everybody went in the bathroom and off himself. Did the dirty. His demon haunts this place. So we're not only worried about the, the candy man here, we're worried about the demon of that man. Be quiet. Be quiet. I don't know if anybody's here. Is anybody here? Was there? No, 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 I saw a shadow. It was my head shadow from the light. Oh, jeez. Oh, my heart just dropped. Let me see the cam. All right, guys. So we have a bathroom right here. I'm not entirely sure what bathroom he used to do the dirty, but uh, there's one bathroom here. There's a mirror right there that we can possibly use. Unfortunately, there's a lot of debris in here and kind of obstruction of field if we have to run for our lives or anything like that. Yeah. So this might not be the best option. There's also one other bathroom that we can use and that is right over here. This place gives me the chills. We got a mirror right here. It's actually oh. a bigger mirror too. We and can use this mirror. oh, there's a creepy little mirror down here. What are you doing down here, little guy? What's it say on there? It says something. It says cook meat. You sell yourself. Hair combed, shoes shined, hands, nails clean, proper attire. Remember, be courteous. That must be a note to all the employees. This must be the employee bathroom. So that tells me that this might be the bathroom where stuff went down. This is the employee bathroom, okay. Yeah, we're gonna definitely do it in here on one of these mirrors. Let's go get the ritual started. Time to fill this bowl. With some candy. Yeah, I'm about you to know, eat. You know what's funny? Candy's like supposed to be happy and joyful and yay, candy, lollipop. But completely the opposite. This is going to be scary. I mean, we might die, but. There's one bag there. There's two bags. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, missed arm day. Stay away from me. Damn, hey, bro, what the do? Super blue this? There you go. More like you're a super moron. Boom. Bag two. We got sweethearts. Boom. Number three. Wait, are those just smarties? These are all smarties. Now the dum dums come. I was gonna say. 
Dum Dum, Smarty. He just dumped it. Cause in. you're the Dum Dum, and I'm a Smarty, so like we got kind of best of both worlds here. Oh, dude, I'm starting to get the chills. I'm starting to freak out. Let's do it on this mirror over here. Ready? Oh. Directly in front of the mirror. We need to stare at each other and rehearse uh, this verse. And after we reverse the hearse, um, we look into the mirror and we say his name five times. After that, it's a free for all. We try to get out of here alive. Yo, make sure you drop a like for this because it's about to get crazy. Ready? Stare at me, Paul. I'm looking at you. I'm gonna do it with the, with the viewers as well, ready? Trick or treat, Candyman, come Candyman. Come and enchant us and our candy. We're already hearing noises. You. Oh, My heart, though. I feel like someone's gonna just barge through there. We're gonna die. All right, let's get through this. Let's go, go. Trick or treat, candy man. Come, candy man. Come and enchant us and our candy with great charismatic powers. Let those who consume this magical candy feel fear. Let this candy open doors for us out of the mundane and into the bazaar. Candyman, Candyman, Candyman. Okay, ready? We gotta look in the mirror and simultaneously say his name five times. Ready? Candyman, 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 Candyman. Okay. Now just back up and just. It's getting kind of hard to breathe in here, huh? Yeah. Alright guys, I'm just literally just going to keep the camera rolling. Uncut, just in case anything does happen. Starting to get a little sweaty though, because I'm getting freaked out. Bro, you know what? What? This could have been the place where he did. It looks like someone was punching down that door to try to get out. Maybe. Like, like, boom, boom, let me out, let me out. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Who's that? Stop. Stop. Yo, get over here. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Guys, I'm gonna keep filming, but I'm turning the light off. We're starting to hear some crazy stuff. I don't want anybody to see this light. Dude, I'm bugging. I don't want to go this way. Oh my god. Hide, 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 hide. Hide right now. Get in here. Oh my god. 
stopped. Almost there. Okay. Let's try again. No, no, just. Jake. Just relax. Turn the light off and chill for a second. Jake. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh. <coughs> what the hell's going on? We need to make a run for it, like now. Go. I hope it. It's still here. He threw it everywhere. That's about it. Let's be careful. Check it. Paul, run, Paul, run, Paul, run. Oh my god! Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, he's coming, he's coming. He's coming for sure. He's coming for sure. Alright guys. Oh, oh my god. We gotta get out of here. Uh, I love you guys to death. And sorry, I'm freaking out for my life right now. I love you guys to death. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Deuces.